All right, this has stayed for more than five years. Hey guys, so welcome back to my channel. My name is Truby. I hope you guys are staying safe. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I made my own dress form. If you live here in Nigeria, you should know that this comes as a plastic. I'm going to show you guys. So I want to unveil this. So this is what we have. If you stay in Nigeria, you should be conversant with this kind of mannequin. This is used to, you know, display dresses. As you can see, this is plastic. I hope you can hear the sound. This is plastic and see what we have. Okay. I used my foam to fill the entire body. Let me get the foam quickly and show you guys. Okay guys, um, so this is the foam that I used, a half inch foam. With this foam, it helps you to pin your dresses. So that was what I used for this. I had to cut it into different parts before I started gluing it to the body, I used a Vostik gum, all right, the normal shoemaker gum, that was what I used to achieve this. I had to cut this into sections, like from here to this point, then to the bust area, I cut out something for it, like so that it will lap very well on the body, and then I cut this into two, so I have a slit in the middle. So this one is different, this one is different. So I used my gum to gum this on the body. So on this other side, I cut out something. So you're actually going to be doing this in badges in case you're wondering how I did this. If you get your whole phone, because this foam is straight, all right? There is no way you can just glue this to the body and it will form this. From this to this side is six inches. I don't know if you can see it. It's six inches. And here to here is six inches, all right? And of course, you're going to have a little hole around this area. You're just going to get a small form foam and fill this place in so that was the same thing i did to the back if you can see the back has four sections one two three and four so you're going to divide it into four sections so that it will fit well on the mannequin and also for the neck you're going to cut another section for the neck i cut out one for this side one for this side then from the waist I cut out something else that went down to the hips. All right, so this is what the full stuff looks like. At the end of the day, you put this on it and then you cover this with your cap. You have your dress form. With this dress form, you're good to go. With this, you can pin. With this, you can drape. With this, you can, you know, do all sorts of designs that you want to do. I'm going to show you guys the results you're going to get. So you're going to do this with your pin. All right. I want to pleat some before I start the draping proper. So now that we have this, you can use this to create a cow neck without cutting on the table. And believe me when I say that, this is the easiest way to create your cow neck. Okay. Now you're going to follow this drape. This is your cow neck. So once you have this, you can go on to cut your sleeve 
and you know cut your waist and you're good to go now if you want to create other form of drape just like what you have here you can come to the side right here and pin this on this side and then so you see what we have so you can go on to keep draping in all honesty this is the easiest way to you know cut your clothes and to drape while you cut your clothes once you drape like i'm i can just go on to keep adding more of these and this is what you're going to get so i thought to show you guys dress form that i use how i made my dress form and how you can make yours for yourself all right guys if you're a beginner and you're thinking about getting yourself a dress form probably you think the price is so expensive well this is a tip for you you can actually make your own at home and you're good to go all right guys let me know what you think about this video if it was helpful please give this video a like and please subscribe to my channel if you've not subscribed already until next time guys keep staying safe my name is ruby and i'll catch you guys in my next video all right bye